Okay, today we're going, we'll be discussing about the principle of traditional cultivation. So this is the process where we try to grow the bacteria in the different culture media in traditional way. So this is just a manual na procedure when we are cultivating the, or allowing the bacteria to grow in our different culture media. Although currently we have uh, automated method for culturing your bacteria where you don't have to plate that one or to uh, transfer that one from one culture media to another. Okay, basically, we have here the principle of your cultivation. So, when we speak about cultivation, that's to grow and to isolate, okay, our bacteria, okay, in our clinical specimen. So, growing that one in a different culture media would allow us then to identify the specific bacteria that try to be responsible here for causing the infection. And allow it to grow in our different culture media would also allow us to perform other tests for further confirmation like your biochemical testing and even your antimicrobial susceptibility testing to check here what antibiotic will be the most effective against that bacteria you have isolated. Okay, we have here the process of the cultivation. So when we speak about the cultivation, it's just simply okay, allowing or growing your bacteria in your culture media. For the bacteria to grow in our different culture media, just need to provide their necessary nutritional requirements. So that's why ang agar, where we try to grow our bacteria, we supplement uh, with the different nutritional requirements for each of your okay, bacteria. Because, of we, because each of them would have here different nutritional requirements. Okay, we have here the classification of our bacteria according to their way of, um, or according to their nutritional requirements. The first one, we have here your fastidious okay, organism or bacteria. When we speak about the fastidious organism here, so those are the bacteria wherein they are difficult to grow. And most likely, aside from the basic nutritional requirements, they are needing other nutritional requirements. So, medyo mapili, maarte itong mga fastidious natin. Your non-fastidious or bacteria, on the other hand, it just requires a basic okay, nutritional requirement for them to grow. Okay, then we have here the types of our culture media. So, culture media could be a liquid na culture media or you call it was your broth na culture media. So, when we speak about the broth here, so it's a liquid one. It remains liquid here even if you try to ref your culture media, even if you try to put that one at room temp or even if you try to heat that one. Uh, that one remains liquid or fluid here because you do not add a solidifying agent. Most likely, our culture media solidify or become solid if you try to add an agar or your gelatin. In the case of your broth media, so wala silang agar or gelatin. So making them, making this culture media here um, a liquid one. Solid, the culture media on the other hand is um, solidified. Okay, so when try to uh, autoclave that one, after autoclaving, try to cool that one and try to pour that one your plate and try to cool and eventually become solidified. Once solidified, you could not um, liquefy it again. Okay, so the solid culture media becomes solid here because you are adding uh, solidifying agents like your agar, your gelatin, or even your albumin, your serum. Okay, egg yolk or even your potato extract. Semi-solid on the other hand is a type culture media considered here as a biphasic. So this one, when cold here, it's solidified. When heated, it's liquefied. So approximately this one still contains a solidifying agent only that at a very small concentration, approximately 0.5 to 1%. Okay, we have here the basic procedure Okay, when you are making your media prep, ito yung media preparation natin. It's a way of uh, making your culture media like your plate, your agar plate. 
Okay, so you for that one, first you need to select your agar base. So, nakalagay sa sa container natin kung ang ilang grams ng agar at ilang distilled water. Just need to use, of course, here nakalagay like in your uh, container, nakalagay uh, one gram of your agar, this, dissolve that one to your 1,000 uh, ml of your distilled water. Something like that. So, sometimes, however, kung konti lang naman kailangan natin, we just need to have the ration proportion. So, like 100 ml ang kailangan mo, so just have the ration proportion as with the original na preparation. Like 1 gram is so 1,000 ml. So, kung 100 ml lang sa'yo, then just need to compute for the grams of your agar base. After you have already, okay, weigh your agar base, which are needed for the entire preparation, you try to dissolve that one with your distilled water. You put that one in your early layer flask. And then try to heat, dissolve that one by heating. After all your agar has been dissolved here, to try to cover that one with your foil. And then try to put that one in your autoclave and sterilize. Again, this is the usual temperature here for the autoclave. 121 degrees Celsius for 15 PSI uh, per square inch for 15 minutes. After that one, you try to cool down your... Sterilize agar 56 to 60 degrees Celsius and try to pour that one in your agar, in your plate. Okay, and then it will just allow it to be solidified. Then become here your agar plate. Okay, we have here the types of the culture media. So first we have here the plate. Okay, the plate is just your petri dish. Okay, you try to pour your okay, your agar and that approximately the 15 to 20 ml of your uh, sterilized na culture sterilized na culture media. Okay, so how are you going to inoculate your bacteria or organism here in your plate? So again, you could have your quadrant streaking, so pa ganon. Ganyan, ganyan, and here. That's what we have already discussed. You could also have your general isolation streaking. So, parang ganun lang siya. Ganyan. Another one, the culture media, we have here the true the culture media. So, it's a type of the preparation where you try to put on your sterilized culture media in your tube in the form of your screw cap tube. So, screw cap tube is parang may, okay, yung may cover na black dito. Or you could also have here the cotton. They call it as your cotton plug, cotton tip plug tube. Okay, for that preparation of that kind of culture media, you could have here your butt. Okay, the butt here is being prepared by pouring off your uh, sterilized culture media in a vertical or in an upright position. Okay, so in solidifying it at that positioning. Approximately, you try to put on 10 ml of your uh, sterilized culture media for that. Another one, you could also have here tube in the form of the slant. So there are two types of the slant. We have the regular slant. Regular slant is only made up of the slant. So ito lang siya. It's being prepared here by smaller angle. So ang gagawin mo lang, try to pour off your culture media and your tube, then ipapaslant mo lang siya. Iposition mo siya na nakaslant Okay, so nakaslant siya ganun. Okay, and then make sure na as soon as as it try to solidify, so dapat wag mong ano siya, wag mong disturbohin para hindi ma ma disturb ang kaniyang slanting position. The special slant on other hand is prepared here by having a bigger angle that would allow you to create here a butt and a slant area. So the special slant will have you the butt and a slant area. Whereas, dito sa ating regular slant to slant lang siya. Ito may butt. This is the butt area. This is the slant area. For both your regular slant and special slants, so approximately, um, that 6 ml is being uh, poured off with, with your sterilized na culture media. And we have here your broad culture media, so that's 3 ml of your sterilized na culture media. Okay, for the, how are you going to inoculate 
our bacteria or organism here with your with your butt. Pag butt lang, okay, so if you are using your loop, inoculating loop or needle, so just uh, pick your colony and then isa-stop mo lang siya dito. Parang ikanan mo lang siya. I-stop mo dito, insert approximately one half of your inoculating needle or loop. Okay, and then tanggalin mo na siya agad. So make sure here pa nag-stop ka or nang inoculating loop or needle, hindi nagtatouch ang loop ang or needle natin with the side of your tube. How about your regular slant? How are you going to inoculate organism here? So, regular slant is inoculated here by uh, fish tail. So, parang if this one is ganun ang kanyang slant, okay, so with your inoculating needle or loop, so, parang ganun mo siya. Pwede mo yung ganun lang, isang, er, isang direction lang. So, parang ganun. From this area, umpisa ka sa baba, tapos eh, hilain mo lang. Or, another way is your fish tail. Parang ganun. Pag special slant, how are you going to inoculate that one? Okay, so, isa-stab mo muna siya dito. Tatanggalin mo, tapos, if you try to pass here on the surface of slant, parang ganun mo siya. So, ang growth natin is isa dito, pag ganyan, at, okay, at the surface of your slant. Sa slant naman, so dapat ang growth mo dito na bakterya dito sa slant area, pag ganun. Make sure na you try to inoculate at once sa surface lang. Do not break your agar. Okay, baka masira niya kasi doon kasi baba at the surface ka lang dapat nag-inoculate. Okay, your growth medium here, so it's just... Okay, so ganun lang siya. Insert mo lang ang ating inoculating loop or needle. One half of that and slightly rotate mo siya. Okay, then tanggal, tanggalin mo agad. Uh, sorry for the, I don't know, for, okay, for this one. Kasi yung nabili ko ata na ink is toluene silene, silene toluene free. So, hindi siya nababagay dito. Uh, wala nang available na, ano, na ink. Kaya ganyan siya. Pero nakikita naman, di ba? Okay, then we have here the different types of your okay, media classification. So the first one, we have your general purpose media. General purpose media here is a type culture media that would allow the growth of all types of your organism or your bacteria. Your supportive media, on the other hand, would allow the growth of your non fastidious organisms. Okay, so supportive media here, example, we have your nutrient agar. So this contains peptone, agar, water, beef extract. Enrich, okay, the enriched culture media contains here enhancement or growth enhancer. So it is being added by your blood, okay, serum, albumin, egg yolk, oleic acid. Example for that, we have your sheep blood agar, chocolate agar plate. Okay, both of this one contains blood. So, making that one as your enrich. This is non-selective isolation media. Okay, pag non-selective, so again, it will just grow. Okay, whatever types of the organism here and, okay, they would have here some characteristic with it. Then we have your enrich, enrichment broth. So, enrichment broth here is just, enrichment broth is just your enrich, your culture media, only that that one is a liquid, the culture media. So, example for that, we have your selenite F. This would allow the growth of your lactose, non-lactose fermenter, but will inhibit the growth of your lactose fermenter. Okay, the next culture media, we have here your selective. Okay, selective culture media allows here the growth of some of your bacteria, but will inhibit here the growth of the others. It becomes selective because you are adding, number one, dye. Sample of the dye. So, most of the dyes here are inhib inhibitory to your gram-positive. Meaning to say, your gram-positive will not grow if you try to add. Example, your dyes here, we have your malachite green. Malachite green is a dye incorporated in your Lowenstein-Jensen. Lowenstein-Jensen is a culture media for your mycobacterium tuberculosis. Then we have also here the eucin methylene blue in the case of your eucin methylene blue agar. Basic fusine for the endo agar. 
Crystal Violet, and Neutral Red are being incorporated in your MAC Conky Agar. Okay, Biosalts, on the other hand, are inhibitory to your gram-positive then. So, in the presence of the Biosalt, it will not allow the growth of your gram-positive. Sample for that, we have your Selenite F. Another one, your salts in the form of your sodium chloride. So, we have your 7.5% sodium chloride. This is the concentration of your sodium chloride in your Chapman stone agar or in the case of your manitol salt agar. So, the 7.5% would allow the growth of your staphylococcus. 6.5% sodium chloride, on the other hand, is the one incorporated in your PCBS, thiosulfate citrate bile, thiosulfate citrate sucrose. Okay, that's your thiosulfate citrate sucrose bile salt. Okay, this is the culture media for the isolation of your vibrio. So, ang mag-grow lang dito sa TCBS natin are your vibrios. Other bacteria, it will not grow. It becomes selective also here if you try to add your antibiotics. Like in the case of your thyroid martin, okay, thyroid martin na culture media contains the following antibiotics. The VCN, V vancomycin, cystatin, you have your nystatin. I wait. C stand for your colistin. Okay, the VCN, vancomycin, colistin. And we have also here your nystatin. Okay, this is for the isolation of your nystheria. Modified tire martins made up of your vancomycin, VCN, vancomycin, colistin, Nistatin plus your trimetoprim. The trimetoprim here try to inhibit the growth of your proteins. Then we have your Martin Lewis, the Cervicea, Vancomycin, Colistin, Anisomycin. We still para pa rin ito sa ating Nysteria. Example of your Enrich na culture media or selective na culture media is your Hectoenteric agar. So, our hectoenteric agar contain the bile salts. Okay, the bile salts here would try to inhibit the gram positive. So, mag-grow lang dito ang gram negative natin. And so, say, salmonella, shigella agar also contains dyes, which are inhibitory to your gram positive and will allow only the growth of your gram negative. Okay, the next type of the cultural media, we have your differential cultural media. Differential cultural media would allow you to differentiate the colony of your different bacteria according to their colony characteristics. Example for that, we have your Maconchi agar. This would differentiate between your lactose fermenter producing a pink na colony versus your non-lactose fermenter which try to produce here a colorless na colony. Okay, now we go to your different culture media, specific type of your culture media. The first one, we have your brain heart infusion agar. Your brain heart infusion agar is a type of supportive media. This is basically for your, uh, this is the type of the culture media for incorporated in your blood culture. So this one is supportive Contains the following here, brain, heart, tissues. We have here the peptone, phosphate, buffer, and we have also here the dextrose. The next one, we have the SBA or your sheep blood agar. This contains 5% defibrinated na sheep blood. So since my blood siya, this makes this one as uh, enriched. At the same time, also a differential. Paano siya maging differential? Pag may blood, it would differentiate your organisms based on their hemolytic reaction. Okay, classification of our organism here based on your hemolytic reaction, pwede siyang beta. Pag beta hemolytic ang ating uh, organism, it produces here a clear zone of hemolysis surrounding the colony. Okay, that's one consider here as complete type of your hemolytic reaction. Alpha, on the other hand, a hemolytic reaction. This is greenish discoloration and consider here to be partial hemolysis. And the gamma, on the other hand, is non-hemolytic. So, meaning to say, 
Your Shibla Dagar would consider here to be enriched because my blood. And differential because it would differentiate your organism here based on their hemolytic reactions. For the next culture media, we have here your chocolate agar. So we consider this one as your enriched because meron siyang blood. Okay, this serve here as um, enriched media. The blood provides here the X factor or the hemin. Okay, or even the NAD or the NAD. But then again, pag blood kasi, the blood is the X factor lang. This X factor or the hemi. So this is a growth factor needed by your hemophilus and your nysteria. We consider hemophilus here as fastidious. Kasi kailangan niya ng hemi, X factor, V factor, mga ganun. So maarte. Okay, the next one, we have your gram negative broth here. So this one is selective. Enrichment broth here like your selenite F. But that one is more of the selective because it try to pag selenite F ulit, it would uh, it will not allow the growth of your gram positive. It will not allow also the growth of your lactose fermenter. It will allow only the growth of your non lactose fermenter. Making that one a selective. More of selective ito. Okay, the next one we have your hectoin enteric agar. So, this one is considered to be, number one, selective. It becomes selective because meron siyang biosols. The biosols here is inhibitory to your gram-positive organisms. Meaning to say your gram-positive will not grow in your hectoenenteric agar. Another one, this one is a differential to cultural media. Paano siya naging differential? Because number one, meron siyang ferric ammonium citrate. The ferric ammonium citrate will be the one going to um detects if your organism here try to produce your H2S or hydrogen sulfide. Pag ang organism natin nag-ferment ng hydrogen sulfide, that will be manifested here as the blackening of the colony. Pag may black, may blackened area or blackening of the colony, then meron siyang H2S. So making this one as differential. Another thing about your hectoenteric Okay, this also different shape between your lactose fermenter and your non-lactose fermenter. So, ang indicator natin na gagamit for this one is your bromthymol blue. Lactose fermenter in your hectoenteric agar would have an orange, salmon to orange na colony, salmon to orange colony. And for the non-lactose, that one would have here manifests as blue-green na colony. So, that would differentiate between your lactose fermenter and your non-lactose fermenter. This one is selective also because meron siyang dyes that will allow only the growth of your gram negative but not your gram positive. Okay, another culture media, we have here your makongki agar. So, the makongki agar, we consider this one selective because contains here the crystal violet. Crystal violet will not allow the growth of your gram positive. So, mag-grow lang dito ay mga gram-negative natin. Differential because meron siyang neutral red that will differentiate between your lactose fermenter having a pink na colony or non lactose fermenter in a makongki agar would appear to be colorless na colony. Okay, the next one, we have your PEA, your phenyl ethyl alcohol. So, the phenyl ethyl alcohol is inhibitory to your gram-negative. This would allow only the growth of your uh, staphylococcus, making this one as your selective. Then, differential, kasi meron itong blood. Since meron siyang blood, it would differentiate our organism based on the hemolytic reaction as alpha, beta, or gamma. Next one, we have your thyroid martin. Thyroid martin is a selective uh, media for the growth of your Neisseria. So, this one is incorporated with uh, different antibiotics. Like vancomycin, this will inhibit the growth of your gram positive. Okay, kaya kaya ang magugur lang na Syria, which is a gram negative. Cholestine, it will allow, it will not allow the growth of your either gram negative na bacteria. So therefore, magugur lang ay ang ating na Syria. And the nistatin antibiotic here will try to inhibit the growth of your yeast. Okay, we have also here the thioglycolate broth. This one is uh, provided here with points or 75% of your thioglycolic acid 
that creates here an aerobic environment for your anaerobes. So, kung ito ang ating uh, tayo glycolate here, so, pag mga strict aerobes, so, usually ang aerobes natin dito sila nag-grow sa taas kasi may need an oxygen. Facultative anaerobes, so, medyo dito sa baba ng upper surface. Aerotolerant, aerotolerant anaerobe ay try to grow throughout Try to grow here throughout your solution. Your anaerobes are dito sa baba. Because again, they, uh, they, they die in the presence of the oxygen. Kaya dito sila sa baba kasi wala daw oxygen sa baba. Okay, the next one, we have here your stylocytin deoxychelate. Deoxychelate agar. So, this is also selective and differential is selective because meron siyang sodium disoxychelate. This is the salt here that try to inhibit your gram positive. So, it will just allow the growth of your gram negative. It's differential because number one, meron siyang ferric ammonium citrate that would allow the detection of your H2S fermenter by manifesto here as the blackening of the colony. Another one, meron siyang phenol red that differentiate between your silo fermenter, which is having the yellow na colony, or the non-silos non fermenter here having the red na colony. Okay? So, now we go to your environmental requirements. Okay, so temperature requirement for the usual bacteria natin is nasa 35 to 37 degrees Celsius. That's why we try to set incubator at that temperature. However, there's some bacteria here that able to grow at okay, higher temperature, like 42 degrees Celsius in the case of your Campylobacter jejoni. Campylobacter jejoni is also a microaerophiles. So, pag nabing microaerophiles requires small concentration lang ng oxygen. On the other hand, we also have the bacteria which try to grow here at a lower temperature, 4 degrees Celsius. So, they could be incubated here in the refrigerator. So, able to grow here at that temperature, we have your Listeria monocytogenes. Another one, we have your Yersinia enterocolitica. And we have here the pH of our culture media should be set here at 6.5 to 